How long has it been here? Dude, it's been here all summer. Why isn't anything eating it? I don't know. No, it wasn't made there. That was an exit. That was for excrement and waste. That's what God created it for. Nothing else. Like that. Like that. What about doggy styles? Listen, you can move on. Like that right in your clutch plate. Yes, between a man and his wife, a woman. <laughs> like I'm just imagining. <laughs> there's this one section that's like storybook. Like it's broken. Like there's different sections. Uh huh. It's huge. It's contradictory because you believe in murder, you believe in, uh, you believe in wickedness. So why are you here today? Just tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, it has nothing to do with the gay pride parade. It's a parade. I go to the East End Festival. I go to the Memorial Day Parade. I'm sure I didn't make the uh, St. Patrick's Parade, but we just tell people about the Lord. That's all. It's a big crowd, so it's easier to tell people about the Lord, a big crowd. Is there any particular reason you chose the Gay Pride Parade? Well, every man is a sinner, and every man's born a sinner, and we believe every man needs the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. Is there a particular reason you're at Gay Pride today? Yes. Why is that? I'm here to profess Jesus. What are you guys doing here today? What is, what is your mission? the wickedness of homosexuality. Oh, oh my god, you know why? Because you have voluntarily blocked your hair. Uh, anyone in a homosexual lifestyle will end up in town. So what is what is a homosexual lifestyle? I think he's got to be able to figure that out. One who has relationships, men with men, women with women. Christian, we are to judge, ma'am. You are headed to hell. Common sense will tell you it's unnatural. You know deep down it's unnatural. Why don't you be a man and answer the goddamn question? I know how to judge people. Read your Bible, fool. Read your Bible, fool. The biggest fool that was planted. God's not punishing you for dropping down your bite from a heart attack and getting two days for days. Isn't that some kind of sin? We're not talking about that. You're changing the subject. I'm holding it through here. I'm gonna touch some penis while I'm at it. Maybe a vagina so or two. I'm like, yes, it would be. Fill me hard up. Really? I look 20? I don't know, 30? How Thank many more you. years of your life? I, average life. Are you an active homosexual, sir? Which murders babies, so now you can't procreate and then you murder on top of that and support murder and see. Uh, you have, you have, you, you can look forward to probably dying sometime in your 40s if you're active because of AIDS. Pro-choice. What's pro or what's pro-choice? And it's proven statistically that the people that get AIDS are either drug users from dirty needers or homosexuals. We're here to support the ones that we love and everybody here loves one another. So those are the two biggest groups of population in the United States that get AIDS. You tell me that you're not being 
judged by God. You think that God's going to tolerate that with your rainbow flags? You need to repent of your sin. Look at that. Take a movie of that. That's, that's called public lewdness. And you know what that? That's what about sex with animals? It's bestiality. It's a sin. It's unnatural. It's un deep down inside, you know it's unnatural. All, all animals or just particular, certain animals? You may be able to mock me, sir, but you won't mock God. Men like desperate housewives? I was telling you in love, you got a pride problem. I'm choosing. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't oh, do that oh, to you. Oh, yeah. oh. But would you like to? <laughs> my flesh would, but I have to fight oh, my yeah. flesh. I beat my flesh under subjection so that my preaching is not in vain. Did you I'm just say you beat dance. your flesh? I'm not allowed Spiritually to dance. speaking.